All right, Flyman Mechanic here, and today I'm just going to go over um, how these varial valve timing solenoids work and um, a couple tricks. I'm going to show you a couple tricks you can do if uh, you get a check engine light that uh, is causing some varial valve timing problems. Um, some common codes that we'll set with this is a P0011, P0010, P0012, P0013, P0014, and a P0018. And uh, most all those codes are related to varial valve timing. Um, this is what the varial valve timing solenoid looks like. It's just a magnetic um, style solenoid uh, with a plunger that actually moves this piece inside to direct the oil um, to the cam phase. It would actually in turn um, advances or retards the engine timing for uh, emissions and gas mileage and uh, power. So. Basically, if you're getting any of those codes, um, a lot of times all it is is uh, just low engine oil. So first thing you want to do, going to want to do is check your engine oil, make sure it's full. If it's not, um, I would suggest changing it, clearing the code, and seeing if uh, that light comes back on. Um, in my experience, 80% of the time, customers will come in, they'll have those codes set, will uh, either change oil or fill the oil, clear it, drive it, and the vehicle ends up being fine. Um, now there's also a couple other things that I'm going to show you how to do uh, later on in this video here. But now on this particular, this actually came out of a <coughs> Infinity, and this is on the front of the motor in the timing cover. And this is where this uh, rail valve timing solenoid sits. Now this is actually not typically where they are. Um, typically uh, they'll be they go inside the timing or the valve cover itself. But on some engines they are in the in the timing cover. I know BMWs and um, a few other vehicles have them in the timing cover. This Infinity has it in the timing cover. And uh, this is actually where the intake cam comes to and then the exhaust cam here. Um, this is a magnetic retarder for the exhaust cam, which um, accomplishes the same thing, but in a different way. I'm not going to go into that in this video. I'm just going to show you guys what how to fix that uh, barrel valve timing codes. So, um, yeah, uh, this one... All is a 10 millimeter bolt and this slides out and that's typically how they're held in on most all vehicles it's usually just one bolt and it usually is a 10 millimeter you take that out and they usually slide out like that but um if you have that code first like i said you're going to want to make sure your oil is full clean you don't want to get all sludged up because what happens is um if you got old oil and it's sludged up it'll start to plug it'll actually start to plug these screens up so if um you've changed your oil and that didn't fix your problem you're going to want to access the varial valve timing solenoid and you're going to want to pull it out and you're going to want to inspect this pretty closely and make sure these screens aren't um, sludged up with oil. And if they are, just take some uh, just take some parts cleaner or brake cleaner and spray it down real good and uh, make sure you got that nice and clean and then reinstall it. Um, I'll leave a link to all the stuff that I used in this video in the description below, so be, for, be sure to check that. Um, also, while you have this out, it also will be a good idea to um, to test it. Like I said, and all this is all this is, is a 12 volt solenoid. So um, your vehicle power, like a 12 volt power source, um, you can actually uh, probe these. It's just two pins, and it doesn't matter. The polarity doesn't matter. It's just going to reverse it. And basically, uh, what I'm what I'm using here is just a power probe. And I'm going to go ahead and apply power to this and show you guys show you guys how this actually works. Not only will you be able to see how it works, but um, we can verify that the solenoid is actually working. So, turn this beeping off. And there we go. Let's see, make sure I get a good picture of that there. Oh, hold on. Now that plunger just opens up to redirect oil. So oil is actually flowing through that into the cam phaser. And it's using the oil pressure to uh, move the cam either forward or backwards to advance or retard the timing. So you can actually check these plungers just by applying 12 volt power supply to them. And as you can see, this one, uh, this one is working perfectly fine. So now that we know it works, we got it all nice and clean. We know our oil's full. 
we can go ahead and reinstall this and um, just clear the codes and hopefully that will take care of your problem. If it doesn't, I would probably suggest getting it checked out professionally, but I'm telling you 90, like 90% of the times, that's really all it is on these things. It's relatively simple. These things are usually pretty accessible. Like I said, on most vehicles, it's in the valve cover right on top of the engine. So yeah, I mean, you can open your hood and I mean, all, you, all you're really gonna need to do that is a, a 10 millimeter socket and a wrench. You can pull it out, clean it up, put it in. And um, yeah, I would definitely suggest trying that before spending any money on repairs or or buying parts. So. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the Flat Rip Mechanic. Thanks.